to the 2021 edition of Olympic Day. At this time, I'd like to acknowledge the presence of the President of the Antiguan Barbuda Olympic Committee, Mr. Honorable Paul Kett Green, General Secretary, Mr. Cliff Williams, and the other executive members of the NOC. We also welcome Mr. Colin James, the Commissioner of Sports. At this time, I'd like to, wel to welcome one of our young athletes, Ajani Daly, and he will read the IOC President's message. Dear friends, in this extraordinary Olympic year, celebrating Olympic Day is even more special than usual. Today, we of course celebrate the joy of sport and remember the creation of the modern day Olympic movement by our founder, Pierre de Coubertin. But on this Olympic Day, when the entire world has been facing the same struggles and fears because of the global coronavirus pandemic for far too long, the power of sport to bring hope and optimism takes an even greater significance. When the athletes from all across the globe and the IOC Refugee Olympic team finally come together for the postponed Olympic Games in Tokyo 2021 on the 23rd of July, they will send a powerful message from Tokyo to the world. The powerful, the powerful message of peace, solidarity, and resilience. This is the same message that all of us are celebrating today on the Olympic Day. The Olympic Games will demonstrate the lesson that we have all learned from the coronavirus crisis. We need more solidarity. More solidarity within societies and more solidarity among societies. Solidarity, hope, and optimism this is what power of sport is all about. This is why on this Olympic day, let us all stand together to celebrate the precious Olympic spirit. Happy Olympic day to all of you. Thank you very much, Mr. Davey. At this time, we welcome the Commissioner of Sports, Colin James, to give us quick brief remarks. Thank you, Mr. Master of Ceremonies. Let me recognize the President of the Antigua and Barbuda Olympic Committee, the Honorable E.P. Chet Green, officials of the NOC, members of national sporting associations, and everyone from the youngest to the oldest, good morning. I'm quite pleased to be here this morning to say a few words before we start this hike. And I just want to say that I believe that if we use this occasion as part of our daily lives, I think it will go a long, long way in showing that we continue to have a healthy and wealthy nation. So. It is important that we just don't use this morning's occasion just for the symbolic occasion that is that is for, but incorporate it as part of what we do on a daily basis. Because sports, hiking, walking, running, you name it, gives us that healthy feeling, gives us that feeling that we can accomplish more. And it should be part of a daily routine. I just want to also reach out to those parents who are here with your children Please keep encouraging them to be part of some sort of sporting activity, some sort of recreational activity on a daily basis. Because it's those young, young ones who are now going to take us to the future in terms of our sporting development. And without them, we're going to stagnate. So parents continue to encourage your child, your children to be part of sporting activities. Anything recreational is important for their overall development as a human being. So once again, on behalf of the Honorable Darrell Matthew, the Minister of Sports, and on behalf of the officials within the Ministry of Sports, I want to say that we are very pleased to be part of this occasion, and we look forward to, be, to work continuously with the Olympic Association and all national associations to ensure that we continue to have Antigua and Barbuda as the number one sporting nation in the Caribbean. I recognize this morning the executive members of the Olympic Committee. Other officials include Senator Colin James, the Commission of Sports, and this morning, I won't be long, I'll be very, very brief because we are already late for start. I just want to say thanks to all the groups, all the sporting associations, all individuals who are here with us. The Fed Ticket Bob is part of a global movement, the Olympic movement, and the celebration of Olympic Day. You have heard the message from the IOC president speaking about cooperation, collaboration, and unity. I'm glad to see the numbers here this morning. Hope that we can ourselves through this exercise and in days to come, practicing our, this, our fair land, that whole sense of unity 
and togetherness. Last year's event, we celebrated our frontline workers. We all thought that by now the pandemic would have passed, but we are still in pandemic period. I want to encourage all of us this morning, and as much as we are here in this close enough environment, that we practice some of the, the, the protocols that we have been encouraged to do for the last year. COVID is still real. We celebrate the Olympic Day despite or in spite of COVID. And so it, it, it really falls to us to individually show, show responsibility for actions. We're going to take the, the hike this morning along Jones Trail. A suggestion is made that we split the group because it's the size. One group go through the Shirley Heights Trail, the other through jo Jones Trail. We meet at the same point at the top of Shirley Heights and we went our way back to this very location. By the time we get back here, this scene should be transformed to a, a kitchen of sorts where breakfast will be served for each and every one of our hikers. So again, on behalf of the Olympic Committee, on behalf of the Olympic Committee, let me welcome you all. Thank you all for taking part in this event. Water is being provided before you leave. Everybody grab a bottle of water so you stay hydrated. And please do not litter. Let's prove to everybody that hikers can be conscious, conscientious, and, and understand the importance of keeping our environment clean. So again, welcome and happy, happy, happy Olympic Day.